sleep on trident. Trident is like tried and true. It's a classic for a reason. Okay. I have in front of me what's coming to Netflix. And this is on what's on Netflix.com. This is what is coming to Netflix. In April of 2023, all the new movies, series, specials, and games scheduled to arrive on Netflix April 2023 by Casey Moore. And her Twitter is Casey underscore Moore. Published March 25th, 2023. Okay. list of new releases coming to Netflix April 2023, April 1st, 28 days, in the year 2000, Sandra Bullock comedy, where she stars alongside Viggo Mortensen and Dominic West, a league of their own from 1992. Tom Hanks and Gina Davis star in this sports comedy about two sisters joining the first female professional baseball league. American Hustle, 2013. A huge ensemble cast come together for this movie based on a true story of a con man and his lover assisting an FBI agent in exposing political corruption. Battleship 2012 Peter Berg directed action sci-fi movie. Beyblade Burst Quad Drive Season 1 Kids Animation Series. Got a little itch on my head. Blippi's Adventures Collection 7. My toddler's a Blippi. Born on the 4th of July, 1989, Tom Cruise war biopic of Ron Kovic set during the Vietnam War. Charlie's, Charlie Wilson's War, 2007, Tom Hanks, Julia Roberts, Philip Seymour Hoffman star in his Oscar-nominated drama. Conan the Destroyer, 1984, Arnold Schwarzenegger that stars as Conan who leads a group of adventures on a quest for a princess. I actually just saw YouTube of like a new, newer little speech he put together and it was amazing. Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat 2003, Mike Myers stars in this Dr. Seuss adaptation. Dr. Seuss The Lorax 2012 Illuminations animated movie set in the world of the Lorax. Friday Night Lights, 2004, Peter Berg directed action sports drama based on the H on H.G. Basinger's book. Hatfields and McCoy's limited series history channel western series starring Kevin Costner and Bill Paxton. Oh, Kevin, Kevin's going hard in the in the westerns, huh? Okay. Um. Listen to the description. Orders Season 12 Dash Depressing Reality Series Depressing Reality Series Okay It is I can't watch it Hotel Transylvania 2012 All your favorite monsters from popular culture come together in this animated comedy from Sony Animation Features the voices of Adam Sandler Kevin James and Andy Samberg. How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That's a good one. I actually like that as far as rom-coms go. Um, 
Paramount rom-com starring Kate Hudson and Matthew McConaughey. How to Train Your Dragon 2010 animated movie that kicked off How to, Ch How to Train Your Dragon franchise. I, Frankenstein 2014. Fantasy sci-fi starring Aaron Eckert. Inception. I've been wanting to watch that again. Inception 2010. Christopher Nolan's epic dream bending sci-fi movie. Inside Man 2006. Crime drama from d director Spike Lee. Invisible Season 1 Japanese Crime Thriller Series. Marnie 1964. Classic, classic Alfred Hitchcock Crime Thriller. Matilda. I actually just watched this because my fiance had not seen it. There's so much he has not seen because um, he grew up in like this machismo world where they didn't watch cute movies. So I have to help him reparent himself. And that meant forcing him to watch Matilda. Like Matilda's forced to watch TV in the movie Matilda. That's me making him watch cute kids show. Um, it's like this clip is just, so, Matilda 1996, family movie directed and starring Danny DeVito, adapting the classic ruled doll novel. Norm of the North 2016 animated feature film about a polar bear who has to go to New York City to stop the plans of a housing development in the Arctic. Not Another Teen Movie, 20, 2001, parody comedy movie starring Chris Evans, Over the Hedge, I do like Over the Hedge, 2006, DreamWorks animation movie about a, a scheming raccoon who fools a mismatched family of forest creatures to help them to repay a debt of food. Psycho, 1960, classic Alfred Hitchcock horror. Puss in Boots 2011, Chris Miller directing DreamWorks movie that serves as a spin-off to Shrek. Safari 2022, African movie from Bill, director Bill Afolani. It just says African movie, but it doesn't say more than that, so I'm not sure. Shark Tale, that's a Martin Scorsese. Do you know the four Martin Scorsese and Will Smith feature in this animated movie about a Fish convinces the world he slays a shark. Shrek Forever After, the final entry in the Shrek animated movie trilogy. Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, Burt Reynolds plays the iconic character of Smokey in the first entry of this action comedy franchise. Smokey and the Bandit 2, 1980, the Bandit goes on another cross-country run. The Spider-Man Trilogy, 2002, to Spider-Man 2002, Spider-Man 2, 2004, Spider-Man 3 from 2007, The Birds, 1963, Classic Alfred Hitchcock Horror, The Bourne Legacy, 2012, Jeremy Renner suits up as another estranged operative finding himself at odds with the CIA. Love Jeremy Renner. The Boy Can Act, okay. The Bourne Trilogy starring Matt Damon, The Bourne Identity from 2002, The Bourne Supremacy from 2004, and The Bourne Ultimatum from 2007. Um, that's exactly the same as the Spider-Man Trilogy, 2002, 2004, 2007. Okay, Land Before Time. Funny you should mention Land Before Time. That was another forced watch for my fiance when we first got together. I actually made him rent it from Family Video. I'm such a bully. Okay. The Mauritanian, 2001 Mauritanian, 2021, based on a true story. This from this movie from STX Films tells the story of Mohamedou Ald Slahi. Finds a powerful ally, defense attorney, and defense attorney Nancy Hollander, starring Jodie Foster and Benedict Cumberbatch. I've never heard of that, and it sounds like a 
that sounds good. Why have I not heard of that? The Negotiator, 1998. One of my favorite movies ever. Action crime drama starring Kevin Spacey and Samuel L. Jackson. The Thing, 2011, Mary Elizabeth Winstead stars in this sci-fi horror movie about an experiment that's been let loose in an isolated outpost in Antarctica. I'm gonna pause there because I forgot to do my housekeeping. If you're new here, welcome to my nonsense. If you're old here, welcome back. Oh, jeez. If you're new here, please consider hitting the subscribe. If you're old here, double check to make sure you are subscribed to the notification bell. Hit the like if you like, leave a comment, give me anything related to the video, or it can just be a hello. Any kind of comment, free way to support the channel, it helps me, helps the algorithm, helps the channel to grow. And as always, if you can support the channel in a monetary way, I will link my tip jars in the description box. No pressure whatsoever, but anything does help and is much appreciated. Okay. Thomas and Friends, Mystery of Lookout Mountain, Weathering 2023, a Netflix original after losing her baby and nearly her, nearly her life during labor, a journalist unravels amid disturbing visions and chilling attacks as she grieves alone at home. Zombieland, 2009, action horror comedy. Sailor limited series Netflix original Norwegian drama series set just after World War II commencing involves a merchant ship facing a fight to survive. That was all April 1st. Okay. April 3rd, Magic Mixes season one, kids animated series. Yeah, I watch Magic Mike. Um, Surviving R. Kelly Part 3, the final season in the docu-series, looking into R. Kelly. Oh, probably because there's been, um, news recently. How did that take a billion years? Is finally recently sentenced or something. April 4th, Monique, my name is Monique, 2023 stand-up comedy special. The Signing, Season 1, Netflix original, Young Artists Must Impress Latin Music Icons in this reality competition series. April 5th, Lewis Capaldi, How I'm Feeling Now, 2023 Netflix original British documentary on the singer. It's coming to Netflix April 6th, B, Season 1. Comedy drama from A24 Television starring Ellie Wong and Stephen Yoon. IRL dash in real love season one Indian reality series about four singles seeking to navigate love. The Last Stand 2013 Arnold Schwarzenegger headlines this action thriller. He made a movie in 2013. The Nutty Boy season two. Netflix original Brazilian animated kids series, April 7th, A Simple Lie, 2021 Nigerian comedy, Chupa, 2023, is that Chupa? Oh, I wish you guys could see this, it's like a cute bobcat, I'm so sorry, family fantasy adventure movie from director Jonas Coral, produced by Chris Columbus, about a young teenager making a companion in the form of a young chupacabra. A young chupacabra. And it doesn't look like how we think chupacabra. It's cute. Okay. Holy Spider 2022. Persian crime thriller. Obelinda 2023. Turkish comedy movie. Kings of Mulberry Street, Let Love Rain, 2023, Netflix original, South African cop drama. 
Thicker Than Water, Season 1, Netflix original French thriller series about a journalist's life devolves into chaos when she shields her brother from the law, inadvertently entangling her family in a drug lord's merciless scheme. Lucas Inklader as Albert Hirschman and Jillian Jacobs as Mary Jane Colt in Transatlantic Courtesy. So Transatlantic limited series Netflix original Jillian Jacobs and Corey Michael Smith star in this biopic series about a journalist who organizes the safe passage out of France and onto the U.S. for thousands of refugees in danger of losing their lives. April 8th, Hunger 2023, Netflix original Thai drama about a young street food cook pushed to her limit after be being taken under the wing of a famous ruthless chef. I don't know why, but I love chef content, um, not like cooking shows, I mean like drama. Like the one that Bradley Cooper was in, and then there was another one, I can't remember the name of the guy that was in it. Just, I could, there's more, there's more. I can't think of them off the top of my head, but, um, what's coming to Netflix April 10th, Coco Melon season 8, Netflix original, what's coming to Netflix on April 11th, All American Homecoming season 2, the second season of the high school sports drama from the CW, Exposed, the ghost train of hire, limited series, true crime, Australian series, Looking at the mysterious incident that occurred at the Sydney Luna Park in 1979. Lights Out 2016 horror thriller from director David F. Sandberg. When a terrifying force arises from her family's past, a woman must protect her young stepbrother from the spirit that kills his victims in the park. Miriam Margoyles, Almost Australian Season 1, actor Miriam Margoyles, 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 I think, has a new Australian citizenship and a lot of questions and candid interviews. She investigates what it means to be Australian. April 12th, American Manhunt, the Boston Marathon bombing, limited series, Netflix original, directed by David Floyd, directed by Floyd. Russ. New, try, new true crime series looks back at the Boston bombings. Celeste Barber Fine Things 2023 Stand Up Comedy Special. Operation Nation 2023 Netflix Original Polish Comedy. Smother in Law Season 2 Netflix Original Portuguese Sitcom. April 13th. A man season one, Edgar Ramirez, will portray Mike Valentine in this new limited series from Donald Todd about an ex-cop dragged into another case. Obsession limited series, Netflix original British erotic thriller series starring Richard Armitage and Charlie Murphy. Korean 2022 Indonesian horror movie. About a group of girls boarding a school descending into chaos when a teacher tells them to perform a forbidden ritual. Boss Baby Back in the Crib, Season 2. April 14th, Fenomena 2023, a Spanish horror movie about three women who investigate paranormal events. Queen Maker, Season 1, Netflix original Korean political drama series. Queen on the Run 2023 Netflix original Mex Mexican action movie from director Jorge Micaia about four women taking a long planned road trip but hitting a lot of bumps in the road. The Last Kingdom Seven Kings Must Die movie sequel to flagship historical drama series April 15th. Dr. Cha, season one, Korean series about a woman who returns to a medical career 20 years after initially leaving. Time Trap, 2017 action mystery movie from director Mark Dennis and Ben Foster. April 16th, Best Man Holiday, 2013. 
Now come to your late comedy about college friends reuniting after 15 years over the Christmas holidays. It's weird that that would be coming out in April, like, be seasonal. Bring it out around Christmas. Mustang 2019, Laure de Clermont-Tonnerre directs this drama about an incarcerated inmate who participates in a rehab program centered around the training of wild horses. The Snowman 2017. Michael Fassbender stars in this mystery thriller about a damaged detective following dead bodies in Norway. I heard that book is really good. I don't, I think they said the movie, like in book world, I think they said the movie isn't that great, but um, well, what's coming to Netflix April 17th? Aki Aki Season 2 Kids Animated Series Better Call Saul Season 6 The Final Season of Breaking Bad Breaking They lost me on Season 5 I don't know if I just wasn't paying enough attention But it was moving so slow It was in black and white half the time I don't know Maybe I gotta go back How to Get Rich 2023 Financial Expert Remy said that he works with people across the U.S. to help them achieve their richest lives third longest date 2023 about a couple stuck on a hinge date during the pandemic mighty quest rogue palace mobile game game april 19th chimp empire nature documentary from the co-director of my octopus teacher mighty morphin power rangers once and always 2023 kids special serving as a 30th anniversary special to the Power Rangers. Ex Addicts Club. Season 1 Netflix original Indonesian comedy sitcom. I see Carrie Russell. Where does she am? The Diplomat Season 1 Netflix original Carrie Russell headlines this new series about a career diplomat who lands a high profile job she's unsuited for with seismic implications for her marriage and political with Perry, When Love Bites, Indian YA series about a rebellious vampire falling for a dentist. April 21, Tourist Guide to Love, 2023, Netflix original Rachel Lee Cook and Scott Lee Lai, L-Y, starring this romantic comedy, Choke Hole, 2023, evading a scandal, a couple from Istanbul starts over in a town of the off the Asian coast, Asian coast, but quickly discover the locals are determined to get rid of them. Indian matchmaking, matchmaking season three. One more time, 2023 Swedish romantic comedy. Rough Diamonds season one, Netflix original Belgian crime series about a prodigal son who sends his family's empire into crushing debt. Welcome to Eden, Season 2, Spanish language series returns where the rebellion ignites an intense battle for freedom. At the same time, Astrid carries out her plans for New Eden. April 22nd, Ada Twist Scientist, Season 4, Animated Kids Series. April 24th, Pink Fong Sing Along Movie 2, Wonder Star Concert. John Mulaney, Baby J, 2023 stand-up comedy special. The Hateful Eight, 2015 Tarantino's Western. Oh my god, I think. No, that's not, maybe that's not what I'm thinking of. Normally I love a good Quentin Tarantino, but if that's what I'm thinking of, I, mm -mm. And then The Hateful Eight extended version season one, I don't understand. Anyway coming to Netflix April 26th. Kiss Kiss 2023. Netflix original Polish romance movie. Love After Music Season 1 Netflix original Argentinian biographical series details the life and career of Fito Paez. That sounds super familiar, but I'm not making the connect right now. The Good Bad Mother Season 1, Netflix original Korean series Working Mom Season 7. That's already in Season 7. 
Final season of the Canadian comedy series. Okay, April 27th, Fire, file, fire Filing Season 2, Part 2. Season 2. I never watched the season 1, but Return of the DC adaptation from creator Jim Nichol. The Nurse, season 1 Danish crime series based on a book. Okay, the last date they have on here is April 28th. AKA 2023 Netflix original French action movie about special ops agent finding his mortality put to the test. Inuyasha season 6 anime series. King of Collectibles, The Golden Touch, season 1. Netflix original Ken Golden and his savvy team run the thrilling action in the series that goes inside a leading auction house specializing in rare collectibles. And last but not least, Wave Makers season 1. Netflix original. Taiwanese political drama series about a team of campaign staffers confronting tough choices during a tough political landscape. So, in a nutshell, that is what is coming to Netflix for April of 2023. Let me know if you're going to watch any of this. Um, there's definitely a few I want to watch or watch again. So we will see. Okay, if you are still there and you watched this all the way to the end, thank you very much. I hope you have a good rest of your day, rest of your evening, or a good night's sleep, and I will see y'all real soon.